is be delusional. Okay? Who knows what delusional means? What does it mean? Let's look at what Google says what delusional is. It's an adjective, right? It's characterized by, by or holding false beliefs or judgments about external reality that are held despite incontrovertible evidence to the contrary, typically as a symptom of a mental condition. Okay? That's what that, that's what that means. That's what Google says, okay? So like you're probably thinking, Mike, Michael, why the fuck are you telling me to be delusional? Right? Having a false belief that is based on incorrect interpretation of reality. You should be, okay? And the reason why I say that, because if you look at the definition, right? Definitions are powerful. Now, my question to you is very simple. How many guys would like to live the reality you live today? Anybody? Anybody's excited about their reality? Or are you chasing something in your future? How many guys are chasing something? Something different, right? You guys know there's seven areas of your life, right? You guys know about that or no? How many guys know about the seven areas of your life? Who does not know about the seven areas of your life? Wow, okay, so I'm gonna go over it quickly. There's seven areas of your life. You have the financial, you have the mental, you have the physical, you have the emotional, right? You have the spiritual, you have the relational, and then you have the recreational. Don't worry about my spelling, but you get the, you get the gist, okay? These are the seven buckets of life, okay? Now, Everything you think about, everything you're working on falls into one of these buckets, true or not true. Give me anything that you think about. Family, where does it go? Re it could be relational, it could be emotional, right? But mainly it's relational, right? Anything to do with spirituality, God, Spir spiritual. Anything to do with your emotions, how happy you are, your feelings, all of that. It's an emotional, right? It's very common sense. Physical, it's about your body, your health. It's very important. Mental is what? How your brain works and how your educational system, like how you educate yourself, right? So how you guys are learning on a consistent basis right now? Okay, hopefully you are. Hopefully you're putting an hour or two a day into your education, whether it's books, audios, podcasts, YouTube videos, whatever it may be. Stop fucking streaming cake and all this bullshit, right? Yesterday I was, because I remember as a kid, like maybe like 10 years ago, there was a thing called kick. It was a messaging thing. Now it became a streaming thing. I had no idea. I'm like, oh shit. Huh? Well, two different kicks? Because that's the only kick that I remember, right? They need to kick in their fucking ass, some of these kids. That are wasting their time watching other people streaming their fucking life. Right? So, and then financial, obviously, you know, makes sense. Financial, right? Anything to do with money. And then re recreational is anything to do with your fun. Right? You need to have all seven areas, otherwise you're going to be incomplete. So, like, for example, there's a lot of people that are very rich, but they don't have their mental life taken care of, their emotional life taken care of. What happens? They kill themselves. Think about that, right? How many of you guys have seen rich people commit suicide? You're like, wow, he's so rich. What the fuck does that mean? Just because you have one bucket taken care of does not mean you're going to be happy forever. Right or wrong? Right? So there's other areas of life that are really important. And if you want to have a wholesome life, you need to have all seven areas working for you. Right? So your reality is where you are today. I don't want to live in reality. It might sound crazy, but there was a saying, there's, there's the past, there's the present, right? And then there's the future. How much percent do you think most people live in the past, present, and future? A lot of people live where? About 80%, 70% in the past, right? A very small percentage, maybe 5% in the future, and a small percentage, maybe 10, 15%, where? Living their fucking life. Whereas the most successful people in the world, they live where? They live a lot in the future. A little bit in the present, and a lot in the future. Very little in the past. How many guys can, can honestly agree that you are living in the past a little bit too much? Be honest with yourself. Raise your hand. Okay? Now, remember this. If you keep thinking about the past, you're going to keep reliving your past. Because your mind will attract what you are looking for. So if you're always looking into the past, what are you bringing into your future? The past. And it's like a vicious cycle. How many of you guys have ever saw yourself like, why am I keep going through the same shit over and over again? Anybody been through that? You're like, why am I going through the same struggle, the same challenge? And if you really think about it, the reason why is because you keep thinking about what? The past. So you're reliving. You're literally attracting and magnetizing all the things that you do not want. Because what you think about and what you consume every single day on a constant basis is what you're going to attract into your life. I'm sorry? Well, it can hold you back, right? Or it can move you forward. It depends how you want to look at it. 
So like, for example, a lot of you guys are not utilizing the most powerful thing on the planet, which is your brain, right? So when it comes to your brain, right, this is what I've learned. This is a secret, 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 right? Our brain gives off different types of vibration. How many of you guys know that? All kinds of vibrations, right? Frequencies. We're electric, well, there's electromagnetic forces all over the place, right? Energy, electricity, whatever you want to call it. So you may be on a, I don't know, 90 megahertz, whatever you want to fucking call it, right? Or even better, let's just say the frequency is, is uh, 105.1, okay? How many guys are 105.1 in New York City? Right? So that's the frequency. If I turn on the radio, right, if I have a radio, and I put the frequency on 97.1, will I hear anything that's coming in 105.1? Absolutely not, because the, because the frequency is not matching, right? So let's say, for example, all those things that you want, these are all your dreams and goals and aspirations, are at 105.8. If you're operating at this frequency, will you get that dream and goal? Why not? Common sense, you're in the wrong fucking frequency. So a lot of you guys are operating in frequencies that are attracting shit into your life. Does that make sense? Your mind is attracting shit. If you're not getting what you want in life, it's because you're not in the right frequency. You have to understand that what you're doing is in the wrong frequency. How you're thinking, how you're acting is not in the right frequency. I'll give you guys an example. If you hang out with gangster motherfuckers, what's going to happen with you over the next five years? Maybe. You either become dead, in jail, fucked up, or something's going to happen to you. Right or wrong? I don't, if you sell drugs, if you do bullshit in the street, it's going to catch up to you eventually. True or not true? You may get lucky, you may slide by, you may play it safe a couple times, but you're going to get caught. That shit's going to catch up to you. You can never hide from the truth. It's going to fuck you up because somehow, someway, someone's going to say something. They're going to snitch you out. You're in trouble. So that's why it's not smart to do that bullshit, right or wrong, right? So you want to do things the right way. But if you keep hanging out those, with those motherfuckers, what will happen to your life? You're going to attract the same fucking shit that they have for them, which is a lot of negative energy. Why do you think the hood looks fucking like, ooh? How many guys drive by the hood sometimes? Like, ooh. Why is that? Nothing really lives in the hood. You go to a nicer area, the trees are blossoming, the flowers, you feel much better. How many guys feel better in a richer neighborhood? Someone's cultivating that fucking place, right? But the hood, no one takes care of that shit, right? So it's very important to understand the frequency. So back to what I'm saying over here, right? Back to this. There's a specific reason I want to talk about this. You have to be delusional. I know, I know, it says false beliefs based on incorrect interpretation of reality. But maybe that's what we need. Maybe, maybe the life that you're really, maybe this is the false reality. Maybe the reality is false. Maybe the, maybe the belief of you thinking that this is reality, it's not. What you are living through right now, you can change. Your reality can change very simply if you just change the way you fucking think and the way you act. So for example, some of you guys are here. Why are you guys here? You, want, you guys want to have a lot of fun here? A little bit. You want to build better relationships? A little bit. You want to get a little closer to God? Probably not. Maybe you want to go to church for that, right? Or a synagogue. You want to get better with your emotions? Maybe a little bit. You want to get a little bit stronger physically? Maybe. I don't think so. Maybe you go to fucking gym for that shit, right? Maybe a little bit of mental education? A little bit. But primarily you're here for what? To make fucking money. To change your financial situation. That's the main objective. Right? That's the main objective. Yeah, you learn. Yeah, you get better with your emotions. Yeah, you have a good time. Yeah, you have relationships. That's all amazing. But at the end of the day, if we had no financial gain here, would you be here? Probably not, right? Because you could do that shit at home. So what I'm saying is that you need to understand that you need to change the way that you think and be delusional and not believe the shit that you're fucking living through. And I know it's difficult because when you're living in a one-bedroom apartment and you're surrounded by four fucking walls that you've been seeing for the past decade, it's very difficult to change the way you think. The only way to change the way you think is to what? Close your eyes and fucking envision you being in a fucking apartment that has fucking, you know, from floor to ceiling, glass, wi gl glass window, and you can open up the fucking balcony and see the whole fucking Miami. It's very hard to do that when you're what? Surrounded by fucking four walls and you can hear the next door neighbor fucking their wife. That's the, listen, in the hood, how, how thin are the walls? You fart the neighbor, the neighbor goes, God bless you. Right? That's how it is. So, so it's, hard to be, it's hard to be delusional when you're surrounded by a bunch of bullshit. But you have to be delusional with where you're trying to go. I saw a video that fucking motivated the fuck out of me. I don't know if you guys seen it, but it was like Ronaldo, uh, Messi, and, and Bill Gates, and all these different people when they were children. David Goggins. David Goggins, yeah, that's that video. And a bunch of little young, you know, they're young, young little fucking, you know, amazing people, okay? That motivated me. 
Because can I be honest with you? I remember myself wearing a fucking hat, red and black hat, red shirt, black pants, red and black fucking sneakers, <laughs> being 16 years old, being fucking delusional that I want to have a li- I'm gonna live a life of luxury. That was my fucking delusion. So what everyone says, you you know, it's delusional sounds so fucking bad if you really if you read it online. Because remember, when I was 19, okay, and if you would have saw me at 19, you would have said, "There's no fucking way this guy is gonna ever become a leader." There's no fucking way this guy is ever going to become successful. No fucking way. I wish I had videos of myself. I really wish I had that. I really wish I had videos of myself to show you. I have a couple of pictures, but I wish I could show you who I was at 19, 18 years old. You would have never said, ah, this guy, no fucking way. Now it's so easy to say, yeah, this guy's going to fucking make it, right? It's so easy to say that. But not when I was 19, because at 19, guess where I was? Delusional. Everyone thought I was fucking cuckoo. Everyone thought I was on another fucking planet. Because all I did was I saw the fucking future. I, did not, I didn't believe where I was in the past. To, to, I, I didn't think about the past. Okay? I didn't think about the present even. I was so far away from the present. It was, it was unreal. I was sleeping in my grandma's garage. She made the garage into a fucking room. It was so fucking cold. I used to have like four fucking blankets. You know those quilts, those huge ones? I needed to have four of them. And then I needed to have one on the fucking door of the garage because it was so fucking cold in the winter. That's how I lived. That's my story. I had, to, I had to sleep in my car for two fucking weeks. So my mom kicked me out when I was 19 years old. That's my story. I was, del- But in my mind, when I was in that fucking car, I made a promise. I will never be in a situation like this ever again. I'll make sure I have so much fucking money that if, God forbid, anybody kicks me out, I can fucking buy the fucking building. Does that make sense? I was what? Delusional. So you got to be a little bit delulu to get what you want in life. Some of you guys are telling your mom and dad, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. And you're saying delusional shit, but your actions don't fucking match. You are a real delulu. Okay, that's a real problem right there. See, it's okay to be delusional and then you back it up with massive fucking action. That's what you should be. You should be a little bit delusional and a little bit like, a little bit like something's off with that fucking guy. Something doesn't make sense. Because if people think you're normal, you're not going to make it. I'm not saying you need to have fucking a whole rap sheet of fucking bipolar, tripolar. Quad. I'm not saying that. What I am saying is that you cannot, you cannot believe your reality. You cannot accept this reality that you have. You have to be a little bit delulu. So most people, they don't see, they, they look at the reality of where they're at today, but they're not willing to go look into the future and say, it's okay, one day I'm going to hit this fucking goal. And it's going to happen in a, in a way like, what the fuck did I do to deserve it? Well, all the work that I did for years before that. Past, present, and what? Future, you gotta live in the fucking future a little bit. You, if someone asks, people ask me, how do you stay so excited all the time? Because I'm not living in here. The past don't fucking matter. The past doesn't fucking matter, guys. Who gives a fuck that I went through foster care? Anyone give a fuck that I went through foster care? Anybody here give a fine fuck? I don't give a fuck. Anybody give a fuck that I used to get beat up in fucking school a bunch of times because I was skinny and scrawny? Anybody give a fuck? No. Anybody give a fuck that my father abused the shit out of me? No. Anybody give a flying fuck? Nobody gives a flying fuck. So why the fuck do you care so much about your fucking past? It doesn't fucking matter. Who cares? You fucked up. You failed. A girl said no. You know one of my friends? He's a, he's a good friend of mine. We, we, we go out all the time, okay? And when, if I'm single, I'm single. If I'm in a relationship, I'm in a relationship. But when I'm single, I'm a fucking dog. Like, if you go out with me, I will talk to any fucking girl in front of me. I don't give a fuck if she's a 10 or a fucking 8. It doesn't fucking matter. I talk to anybody. I'll talk to, it doesn't matter to me. I have the balls to go up and say, hey, what's your name? Da, 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 da. In the club. And it doesn't matter where. My friend loves coming with me. He's like, Michael, I admire you so much. Because because most people don't have the fucking balls to show up and say, I am actually, I told my boy, I'm looking for rejection. I'm looking for the motherfucker to say no to me. Because I understand the game. It's sales. Talk to five, one will say yes, it's, that's it. It's, it's, that's the mindset. Does that make sense? Because I'm the Lulu. The guy that's fat and bald and is barely making any money gets a fucking 10. How did he get her? Not a, lot, a lot of times not fucking money, I promise you that. He had the fucking balls and the Delulu to go talk to her. That's it. Think about it, guys. The 10, guys, think about this. The girls that are super fucking hot. How many guys talk to her? That's what you think. Not too many. Not, not, they don't come up to her. They're afraid. They're afraid of getting rejected. They may DM her, because that's easy. Anybody can fucking DM. My great-grandma could DM. 
and she's in a fucking grave right now. Right? It's very easy to DM somebody, hey, honey. That's easy. You don't have to have balls for that. You're hiding behind a screen. But to come up to someone and get rejected, people don't want to do that. So when you go to the club, go, go to a club, go to a restaurant, go watch the hottest, go find the hottest girl and just watch her for an hour or two. I promise you nobody will come up to her. Very rarely will you see a guy come up to her. True or not true? So when you go up to her, you are already separating yourself with the masses of asses. Because all the guys go to, they talk to the fives, the fours, the sixes. Why? It's easy. Because like, oh yeah, she's a five, I'm a six, I'll get her. The Lulu, in the wrong way. In the wrong way, right? But the guy that goes up to her, he's a fucking four and a half, and he talks to a ten, and he gets her, he's like, what the fuck, how the fuck did that happen? And by the way, a lot of these tens, they don't even think they're tens, they think they're fucking threes. Because their self-image is so fucked up, which is why they look like a ten. Because they fucking did all this work on them to make them a fucking six to a ten. Right? It's all fucking twisted. All, all you gotta understand is be delusional. Where do you want to be in the next fucking year? Where do you see yourself? Oh, Michael, it doesn't seem re- like it's realistic. I, I, don't, I don't like that word realistic. Realistic? Look at my life. It was never realistic. Look at your life. It, are you re- did you have realistic? Did, did you have realistic results? How many of you guys been through some crazy shit? You're like, wow, I fucking escaped realistic. If not, create something in your life. How many of you guys had near-death experiences? Great. Realistic. You were supposed to die. You didn't. You're fucking here. I don't believe reality. Okay? Reality is created. It is not determined by anybody else. You are creating your reality every single day. So you have to be a little bit fucking delulu to what? To create that reality. Because you have the fucking power to create it however you want. Oh, Michael, you don't, like, some of you guys already limit yourself. You, you put a fucking cap. Today I'm going to do this. Instead of saying, yesterday I did 10, today I'm going to do fucking 12. Yesterday I did 12, tomorrow I'm going to do 14. And pushing that fucking envelope more and more and more and surprising yourself. You see, being delusional, what happens is you surprise yourself. Some of you guys do not believe that you're one day going to run an office. Some of you guys do not believe you can be the number one in the office. Some of you guys do not believe you can be a top fucking sales guy. I... Trust me, if you saw me at 19, you would have never said this guy's going to be a great sales guy. I, listen, I used to go into a meeting with a person. Like, I used to meet people. Like, uh, the, my, first, my first business, I had to recruit people, right? So I would meet someone in the fucking mall. Hey, nice shoes, da 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 And at the end of the conversation, let's get, you know, let's exchange numbers. We'll talk. I said, can you give me one second? Let me take a picture of you so I don't forget who you are. Okay, who thinks that's wild? Okay, that's what I would do. The guys, all of a sudden, the conversation went from like, and they would let me take pictures because I wouldn't let them go unless I take a picture. <laughs> they thought I was sick. In my mind, I was like, hey, I'm taking a picture so I don't forget who the fuck you are so I can connect it to the notes that I take. What did you take the picture off? Your no, it was a, a Metro PCS phones back then. Internet. Guys, I just, I, you know, it didn't click to me. I did not know how to deal with people. I had no, I had no understanding of personal space. I would talk to someone, come here for a second. I will talk to someone, and I'll be like this to them. <laughs> you think I'm joking. I, I, I'm telling you this is who I was. I'll be in their fucking face like that. That was me. You would have saw me then. You would have been like, this guy? No fucking way. I was loud. I was obnoxious. I was arrogant. I was rude. I had a low self-image. That was who I was at 18, 19 years old. You guys are way better than where I was. I promise you. I wish, I wish it was like a fucking video camera watching me and fucking recording me. If I was, if I live streamed what I did back then, I would probably have 20 million views because everyone would be fucking roasting my ass. That's where I came from. I did not have any education in dealing with people. No, no, no. I did. That's another example. I, I mean, I just, I was not the guy that you would say, pick this fucker. You would not choose me. You would not choose me. And you would not, as a matter of fact, you would bet against me because that was where the money was at, to bet against me. But I used that as fucking fuel. I used that because in my mind, I became delusional. I said, one day I'm going to change myself. One day I'm going to learn how to deal with people. One day I'm going to learn how to connect. I, I, I made a promise. One day I'm going to connect so fucking well with people where they're going to respect me and like me and love me and be my best fucking friends and learn from me. I was delusional. Sleeping in my car, envisioning fucking living in a fucking life that nobody could imagine. I still do that today. 
You know, that make sense? You gotta be delusional, man. Do not let, do not let reality convince you that's, your, that's gonna be your reality forever. Life can change when you make a decision. You gotta create action, of course. You gotta be willing to work. Listen, this is, this is real Delulu. Oh, Lamborghinis, Ferraris, and life, and this and that, and then you fucking open your eyes. <sighs> Let's go to the couch. That's not gonna rock, guys. You gotta back it up with massive fucking action. De being delusional with massive action it, 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 it equals what? Massive results. So I want you guys to think about this today and think about how can you be delusional a little bit? How can you change your fucking life on the next two, three? Guys, not gonna happen in two months, right? So you guys gotta be delusional. You have to be delusional. What I expect out of this conversation from today for you guys is that you do not, you come out of this fucking meeting saying, you know what? I will not accept the reality that I've been living in the past. I will not accept the fucking six that you believe you can do today or the 10. Some of you guys are in your mind, you could do 15 only. Why not expand your fucking thinking? I have a question for you. I have a, que a serious question for you. Fucking serious question for you. How many guys like, li listen, listen. How many guys, honest to God, I don't think everyone should raise their hand because I think you're lying. How many of you actually, honest to God, you genuinely, by 2025, by January 1st, you want to have a massively fucking different life? Dif a massively different life. Like, completely different. Like, elevated to another level. Okay? I think a lot of you guys would like that. But my question is this. Do you want to get, you want to create that massive change? I think 12 months, 11 months is enough. This is what you need to do. How many guys can be delusional for, for today? Delusional. How many guys can be delusional today? Anybody? Okay, great. It's a stepping stone. Okay? How many guys do you think can be delusional for a fucking week? How many guys can be delusional for a week? This is, this is, what, this is what's going to need to change. If you can be delusional for a month, that's awesome. I want you to be delusional for the next 12 months. It's very difficult. Very difficult. Why? Because in 12 months, what can happen? Car accident, your kid throws up, your kid gets sick, your fucking toe hurts, you fucking wake up on the wrong side of the bed, a girl dumped you, a boy dumped you, shit happens, your fucking penis hurts, you fucked the wrong girl, something happened, I don't fucking know, a bunch of fucking shit. Your ass hurts, this hurts, that hurts, this, your back, uh, excuses, uh, surgery, therapy, uh, blah, blah, blah. that's the fucking problem. Life gets in the way of that. But if you're really good at, a, you know, I'm so fucking good at this. No, 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 no. Someone called me yesterday, I want to offer for you. No. 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 Let's go, let's go eat lunch. No. Can, let's go, can, I, can, I, can I take you out for coffee? No. I want to pick your brain. No. Even if you pay me. No. No. I take shit off my fucking plate. Right? Because I want to fucking focus on being delusional over the next 12 months. That's me. So I, 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 I'm, I'm recreating what got me to where I am today was me being delusional. So for me to get to the next level, I need to be delusional as well. You understand what I'm saying? And, I, and do not let anyone steal that fucking dream away from you. I don't give a fuck who it is. Oh, all you care about is money. Great, Delulu. All you care about is success. Yes, Delulu. Think about that. How many fucking friends and family, even close people to you, are going to say that shit to you? They're going to judge you. Great, judge me. Hate on me. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to live a life as delusional while you can sit there living your fucking reality and be upset and be sad and be unmotivated. Because I am delusional. You understand? And I will not let anyone steal my fucking dream away from me. So what I need you guys to focus on, if you really want 2025 to be a different fucking year for you, which you have the power to do so, you really, really want the change, I want you guys for the next 12 fucking months, take shit off your fucking plate. You're babysitting your cousin's uncle's sister's little chihuahua because she has a fucking fever. No. You're walking your ex fucking fucking friend's dog. No. I got rid of my fucking dog because it was a distraction to me. I love dogs. Distraction. No. Cat is not a distraction. Kept it. Right? And if it would be distraction, guess what I would do with the cat? Gotta go. Sorry. It's okay because my dreams and my goals, I tell you guys a little thing and I'm going to end on this. Okay? Imagine I get married. I have a wife and I have children, but I have no dreams and no goals. What will that wife see in me? Do well, you think that my wife will be with me? No. Okay. So well, the one important thing that you need to do as a man, and this is for, for the boys and for the boys that are becoming men, you need to take care of your fucking dreams and your fucking goals. If you want to get married or be with a woman or have children, have a family. Because to be with a wife and a children with no dreams and no goals, it is scary to be with that fucking man. It is scary to be with that fucking person. But if you have the dreams and the goals 
and the woman has that kind of man, that is the best fucking man to be around. True or not true? You do not want to see me without a dreams and goals. I, I'll be empty. I need something to spice me up. I need something to fucking chase. I need something that's fucking big enough to motivate me. Not easy. It's easy to go to the gym and fucking curl fucking 10 pounds for me. Ah, that's okay. I want to take that fucking 40 and fucking squeeze that bitch. I want to take that 35 and hammer that bitch. I want to go today and fucking do new supersets. So for the next 12 fucking months or 11 months, right? Because we have 11 months left in a year, okay? What I want you to focus on is how can you be delusional? What are some things you can do? First, it starts with what? Talking about it, okay? I remember, I will not forget this, I will not forget this, okay? I was telling my brothers for fucking six months, I'm gonna open up a business, I'm gonna open up a business, I'm gonna open up a business, I'm gonna open up a business. Gonna... You know what they tell me one day? Yo, Michael, could you shut the fuck up about this business shit? When the fuck are you gonna open it up? I said, you know what? Perfect. I'm gonna fucking open up the business that July. Because I, I was doing a lot of what? I'm gonna open up a business, I'm, gonna... I'm going to. No. Papa, right here. They, 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 they triggered me. They're like, shut the fuck up with this business shit. Really? You're right. You're fucking right. I'm doing a lot of this, and I'm afraid. That's what I created action. This was 2016 of July. August 1st, we started the company. Right? And here we are today, eight fucking years later. Thank God for them fucking, you know, saying that and fucking poking me in the fucking, in, in, right here. Right? Thank you. Thank you, David and Daniel. I appreciate you guys. Right? Call David. Call Daniel. But what I want you guys to do is do this. Close your eyes and think about what the fuck you want. Live 80% in the fucking future. Do what you need to do today, but live for the future, okay? And get the fucking work. Get the fucking work.